Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a haul video and um, I guess I'll start this video by announcing <clears throat> that I'm really, really excited because I recently made Partner on YouTube. So I'm really happy. Um, I don't know, I've researched the details on what it means, but basically I get to make the longest videos ever. Um, but I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has helped me get to partner status because if it wasn't for anybody watching my videos, then it wouldn't be um, a, as an option. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And it makes it fun because I know you guys look forward to the videos I put out just like when I'm looking forward to a video I'm, someone I'm subscribed to makes every week. So thank you so much. And um, let's get started with a haul video. This is all, I'm looking at it all right now. It's a collection of things that were sent to me. Um, and, uh, and let me just make a disclaimer. Here's how I feel about things that have been sent to you. If a company wants to send me something, please don't be like, don't think that I'm being coached to say something more positive about the product because if I really don't like it, um, I'm going to tell you, and the company puts their faith in someone saying, hey, I'm going to send you my product. I want you to tell me what you think. But I always say I'm going to be honest, and I'll tell you what I think. Some of the items that I have, I'll give you the goods and the bads, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I'll let you know honestly what I think about it. Anybody who's anybody who's a human being, obviously if you get an email that says, hey, I'm Sephora, which I wish, but it would never happen. I want you to try uh, the Clarisonic. You would not, you'd be an idiot to be like, oh, no thanks, my integrity is blah, blah. You're going to try it, and you're going to tell people what you really think. That's what matters. So just know that if I get something and it doesn't work that great, I'm going to tell you. Hope I said enough about that. Anyway, um, first thing, I've been on a really huge NARS kick lately. Uh, I went from, like, MAC to NARS products, and I, I'm a really big fan of NARS. I don't know, I just, I have the NARS Sheer Glow, which I really like so far. But the newest item I got um, recently, I feel like I'm too far away from the camera, and I don't like it. Um, NARS Lip Gloss in Giza. That's what it looks like. And, um, am I wearing it right now? No, but I'll put it on right now. Um, it's really nice neutral. It's, someone said if I like Honolulu Honey. Yeah, it's really pretty. If I liked Honolulu Honey, this would be great to go over the top. It's a nice uh, neutral peachy pink. NARS lip glosses don't taste so great. I'll just say that right now. Um, it, and some people like don't mind it, but if you went from MAC lip glosses to NARS, they kind of taste like plastic, like old rancid plastic. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold as usual so mm, that helped um, but it's really really pretty and I can put it on and it's um, MLBB my lips but better and I like it because I'm a nude freak so NARS Giza is great if you're like NC35 to NC45 I would try this if you don't like the taste of it I completely understand but other than that it's not bad um, then I just got this in a swap Unfortunately, I'll disclaim this right now, I think this blush that I'm picking up is um, discontinued. But it's the NARS in Sir, Sir Tao. But it is the most beautiful, god, it's so pretty. It's like a Laguna, I don't know, it's just a really, really pretty bronzy color. And I've been looking for something that's got a little bit of a color pickup for my cheeks, but not too much and it's just the most pretty bronze uh, neutral it's just really really pretty I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now and you know me and highlight and bronze so um, I would say my luster that I have is a little bit darker but pretty much along the same lines as Sir Tao. If you can if you want luster that would probably be a really good dupe but I'm really excited to get this it's so pretty so that's what I got from NARS. Um, uh, nails. Okay, I take off my acrylics. I am a nail freak. I always wear like acrylics. I've always been a French tip kind of girl. 
But I took them off and I've just been doing like the natural thing. But I was like, let me paint my nails. Well, A, I can't wear really crazy colors at work. You get in trouble. But I went and picked up these colors recently and I love, love, I like weird, dirty, mauve brown, you know. So I have, um, you don't know Jacques. Love this. It's like a like mushroom, taupey brown with a little bit of a gray undertone. It's really great. This one is a suede by OPI, and it's called uh, Suzy Skis in the Pyrenees Suede. And it's so sick because it dries matte or suede. It's um, black, gray with it's. It looks like asphalt when it dries. It is the sickest color on your nails. What is the boyfriend? watching downstairs he's like laughing um, but it's so sick because it's not shiny but it's got like sparkle but like an asphalt gray undertone it's so cool so I like that and then the last one I got which I'm wearing right now uh, I call it cement but it's um, OPI nail lacquer in moon over Mumbai if I can recommend any color right now pick up moon over Mumbai it's uh, it, it can be layered and the more you layer it, the more cement it looks. And it's so rad. It's, it's, it dries shiny. Put over a little bit of top coat and you're good. But it dries with like a lilac undertone. But it's cement. It's the coolest color. And like I've only put one layer on. But if I put on another one, and maybe tomorrow I'll put on another one, it just dries so sick. So these are the three. You can tell I'm kind of a... <laughs> this is the trend I'm going with. I really like these colors. So the next thing I have was um, sent to me, and this is by, I think it's circulated on YouTube, it's by a company called um, Sasha Verone, and they were like, hey, do you want to try this perfume? And I was like, sure, but I'm letting you know I'm super skeptical of perfume because I get headaches. Marc Jacobs, I loved, it made me sick. Michael Kors, I loved, it made me sick. I can't do anything really, really super sweet. Um, it just kind of Miss Dior Cherie, loved it, made me sick. Now I'm into like clean beachy scents, but anyway. So they sent me this, um, and it's, uh, it's called Soulgasm by Sasha Baron. And this is, um, what it looks like. This is the deluxe sample. It's really pretty actually. Um, I used it for a week, and what I'm feeling is like, I graduated nine years ago from high school, and you ever smell a scent and it takes you back to a time in your life? This reminds me of, it smells exactly like Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Uh, when you first spray it, it's, I just sprayed it a second ago. It's cotton candy. It is sweet, but you get like the musk. And I, I love jasmine. I do smell jasmine. When it settles on my skin, I get more of the jasmine. And that was what I was worried about was when I first sprayed it, I was like, I don't know, because I... I can't do the Miss Dior Cherie type. I like the smell of it in the store, but I can't wear it. It makes gives me headaches. This is drying on the more jasmine side. That's okay. So um, this is something I picked up. I'm really excited to keep wearing it because uh, I've liked it as the weeks have gone on. So it's called Soulgasm. Don't really know how I feel about the name. Um, but I'm like a marketing major anyway, so I'm really skeptical on like names and branding. Trust me, I don't like NARS Orgasm either. I think that's a stupid name. I think their sexual names on Nor NARS take away like an entire demographic of people who take like a stance on feminism. So I'm like super skeptic. But this, Soulgasm by Sasha Baron, I'm going to put the link in the sidebar. Um, and I don't know if they're giving out samples or if you want to try it, but it smells... <sighs> really good I kind of pick up like um, an apple scent too when I just smell it but it settles on the skin really well because I was really scared at first but this is really good um what else okay one of the cooler things well I'll save this for last um Alba oh, it just totally dripped everywhere uh, Alba like shower gels and stuff I didn't know like it was that big of a deal and someone had put on makeup Valley that they have a really good or a shaving cream and I have really really dry skin so I picked up their Alba moisturizing cream shave in mango vanilla this stuff is bomb it's a jojoba vitamin E and um, it's organic soap free 
you it's a creamy texture and you put it all over your legs all over your armpits wherever and it's a close shave but use sparingly and it literally is so soft on your skin you don't need lotion afterward it's so great so I picked that up this is new and the smell is it's like wet vanilla and mango wow that is so fucking sorry freaking wet anyway um, and then this I picked up was the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel in Midnight Tuberose. I like this because it doesn't have um, sodium lauryl sulfate, which is basically in any shower gel, it's the stuff that makes it really bubbly. Let's put it that way. This stuff is still bubbly, but it's paraben free, 100% um, vegetarian, and um, pretty much it. But it's super, super tuberose, and I love tuberose. I buy the flowers, I leave them around the house. It just makes everything better, so it smells really good. So I'm really liking Alba right now. And the last thing, hold on. The last thing I got, um, this company I was in contact with, and they were like, hey, okay, well, here's the thing. Um, I was watching this video about um, hair straightening, with a flat iron, a particular flat iron. And I was like, well, you know, I think it's great, but, you know, the true test of a flat iron is if it works when you have coarse or multi-ethnic hair. So curly hair to straight, multi-ethnic hair to straight, you know, does it live up to the standards of our needs? So this company sent me, it's um, flatironexperts.com. And I had seen, like, their videos floating around on YouTube. Again, this company sent this to me. And they, I was like, well, I have multi-ethnic hair, so if it works on me, then I will, you know, give it a go and let my subscribers know how awesome it is. If it doesn't work, sorry. Because I've had like three flat irons that have all died on me within a year, so whatever. So this company, um, Flat Iron Expert, sent me the KQC Professional X Heat Ceramic Styling Iron. This is what the box looks like. And the stats on this... Um, it heats up really, really fast. It goes up to 410 degrees, and um, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's a, uh, how big is this? I think it's only, it's one inch. So by re like normal standards, this is what it looks like. Normal standards of flat irons, what I'm used to is um, at least one and a half inch. Um, that's the only downside to this flat iron. But I'm gonna say I've used it for about a week and a half now. This flat iron is phenomenal. Um, it's I here's the thing about it being smaller. Because it's smaller, it can get closer to the root. Um, when you've got a bigger flat iron in width, it's really hard to like maneuver around the root and down. This does that. Um, it's great for curling because its width is so small, you can make a really great curl out of it. So for 410 degrees, um, with the swivel cord and a super super long cord. It's really, really good. <laughs> like, I, my um, her styler, do not get her styler. Don't ever buy the her styler. I know it's on AMI Clubwear, and I found it on eBay for like 25 bucks. Don't get those. That, I got it in January. It, it broke. It broke. Uh, it was 400 degrees. I thought it was a good flat iron. It's dead. It does not heat up. Red light comes on. I get nothing. This heats up in seconds. And I'm just really excited because I have a flat iron that I can use and it actually works again. It's not that expensive either. It's like, I think it's $179 on the Flatiron Experts website. Um, the GHCs are about $250. Um, so this is a lot cheaper, but it works just as great. And it's um, ceramic and tourmaline, I believe. Um, let's see. Ceramic and tourmaline gemstone components with precise heat technology. It's the most effective far infrared heat and negative ions while preserving moisture and leaving hair silky smooth. Let me tell you, it works. If it works on my hair, it'll work on your hair. If it works on your hair, it'll work on fine hair, Caucasian hair. It is a really great flat iron. So I'm really excited I got it. Thank you so much. I'll leave the link in the sidebar as well. And that I think is all of my hauls. So it was a little bit of NARS, a little bit of OPI, a little bit of Soulgasm, a little bit of KQC, and a little bit of Alba Botanica. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the sidebar. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.